In 1897, Canada saw the start of the gold rush in the Yukon Territories. It celebrated Queen Victoria's 60-year reign over Britain and her dominions with a diamond jubilee, and it saw the conception of the Sherbrooke Record, now the longest-running English daily newspaper in the region. I think it's really important, uh, it was important in 1897 to have a newspaper to link the community, to tell people what are the important issues of the day, um, to let people know what changes were coming in legislation, things that would impact them, and those things are still important today. We have a reputation that's been built over, over 120 years. We didn't build that reputation out of um, you know, skewing the facts in the favor of something, right? We did it by presenting information to the community and letting them make their own choice about it. If you don't have an open mind, then you aren't able to be objective in the things that you're reporting on and the things that you're investigating. And that can be detrimental, um, especially when you're pushing um, information out to the public. You need to be able to include all sides and not have a very clear bias in the things that you write. A lot of the success of, of media, particularly in a community newspaper environment, depends on people communicating what's going on with us. And the big successes that we have in terms of really interesting news stories are always the ones where people have reached out to, to let us know about something that's going on. Most of the staff at The Record are longtime members of the township's English community and all of them take the responsibility of representing that community seriously. We, we have to recognize we live in a province that's uh, predominantly French, uh, and a lot of people are bilingual, but there are some who aren't. And so when you represent everybody, you know, then you have to make sure that their rights are upheld. A lot of the people who rely on the record to bring them information are seniors. A lot of them don't have computers. A lot of our readers live in rural areas where they don't actually have internet uh, access. So it's really important for a paper like ours that's serving a small English-speaking community to be able to um, get news out to people. It goes without saying that these people love what they do, and they understand what a privilege it is to share in people's lives daily. I think that's the thing that I love the most, actually. It's just you're, you're meeting new people every day, basically, and uh, you're building these, uh, these connections with community members that you would otherwise just never know or you would never meet these people and there are, some of these people are amazing. You know they say if you find a job that you love you never work a day in your life. Well I always say this is a job I never had because I have loved every day of this as a reporter going out to people that you meet absolutely incredible inspiring people who are doing like extraordinary things. Um, you know people have really touched you help you grow as an individual that happens daily. Um, there, are, there are consistent and varied reminders of how important this job is um, and I, I want to keep doing it as long as I can. Mm -hmm.